And so we're off now. We're going to do some tourism. We're going to head up to Deutschtech for an evening sunset-ish kind of a thing. And then we're going to see about dinner. And then we'll just see. I don't even know. Maybe the night bazaar? I don't know. My university now we're passing the arboretum and we're soon going to be on country roads just going switch back up the hill and the guy just offered us to stay up there and wait for us and then bring us back down for a really good price so of course we said yes it makes it convenient and here we go that's the zoo and here we go off into the hills so pretty up here. My favorite memory from up here is I took a, rented a motorcycle with a kid from our youth group and he and I went on a mountain ride through here. It's very beautiful. The brand new guardrail going up the entire length of the mountain. A safety measure which is unheard of in our experience in Thailand. Crazy. Oh, like you know, you came It's super built up. None of this was here when we to live here. It's now a massive village. It's pretty cool. All kinds of kitsch. I mean, I can't be certain exactly where we're going, but he's turned off the road and it looks like maybe he's delivering us up the hill partially. No idea where the heck we are. Well, let's go find out. Is that it? So yeah, dude brought us halfway up. I don't see the temple though, but we're up in the woods. <laughs> There's like, we came up this super bumpy concrete trail and he's bringing us around some back way. Have fun, we'll see. So he's brought us around through some tiny market building. Ah, here we go. And here are the steps. Oh, that's awesome. We just got like half our journey cut off. Oh, and here's like a whole, this is so cool. Love all this stuff. Very cool. So here is the entryway to the temple area. You can see the steps. And I think it's 99 steps to the top. So we'll just take our time. Oh yeah, oh yeah, for sure. So is that the top right there? It is, the steps are all slanted really far downwards, sloped. We could steps be super foolish and run up them. No, I'm good. I don't want to cause a scene, so I'm yeah, gonna just... Yeah. I was thinking the same thing, like it'd be fun to sprint up, but there's too many people. They're tiles, so yeah. The dragons go all the way up the steps. And they're covered in these shiny tiles. How old is the temple today? I don't know, we can look it up. Insert information from Wikipedia here. I'm inclined to think of this as modern concrete, but actually don't know. Be tired. As we arrive, there's mom. You only need to take your shoes off. If you're going inside, yeah. Do you guys want to go in? Yeah, you can. Whatever. You guys want to go in? Oh, well, I'm not a Buddhist. So. <laughs> well, you can go see it. Right. It will be a bummer if I lose my brand new Skechers. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Are we allowed to do photography in here? I don't know. Oh, here we are. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's hilarious with golden stuff. We have a knack for finding stuff under construction. That's funny. So all these little statues. That's about all. It's a big bright golden spire up there. Under construction. Cracking me up. Actual monk in there having people come and say hey. That's cool. And here's one of those golden umbrellas that Lindsay was talking about in the ride up here. It's pretty cool. And then I'm gonna pass this way. It's quite a brilliant feature. Oh, mom go. Oh, they weren't walking right there? Can do 
by reading a little card and doing a little thing. Not our style. I'm not sure if it's a real jade, but no, it sure looks like jade. Oh. In my opinion, the stuff outside the temple is prettier than the stuff inside the temple. Whoa, it's very slippery. It's very slippery. Watch it. Okay, let's go around for the view. As uh, as I indicated before, I think the stuff outside is cooler than the stuff inside. This these are um, commemorations of monks, not Buddha himself. And I like the red temple stuff out here and the trees. Loving the trees. Huge bell, which I don't think you're allowed to ring, but back in the day they used to let you ring it. And there were bells around the side hanging off the temple that you were allowed to ring too. Let's see if they're still here. It does not look like it, but that's okay. We'll go check it out anyway. As you pointed out that the feature in that wall is a gong. This is a huge bell on the left here. Here we go, yeah, these are the bells. Don't push the bells, it says. But you used to be able to ring them on the bottom. Boom, but I'm not doing anything because I don't want to be disrespectful. Take somebody off, yeah. Is that the Oh, straight ahead, I think. Around the bend. This is so pretty. That's my style with the wood and the gold. That's pretty. Oh, it is wrong to use symbols of Buddha in bar decoration tattoo. It means no respect. Strictly prohibited to step on, step or climb on Buddha statues. Oh, yeah, that's that makes sense. Man, you gotta spell stuff out for people, I guess. So, here we are. Chiang Mai is in the mist because of pollution. But let's see if you can see easily. Oh yeah, the airport's right there. And then it looks like this city wall is actually, you can see it's pointing directly away from us in the film. Not sure if you can see it. It's easier to see on a clearer day. And so then we used to live... Um, we live out on that side of the city. Our hotel is actually right in the cluster of tall hotels down there. Ooh, somebody's ringing something. Well, hopefully you're supposed to do that. I don't know, some white guy's ringing bells. You see the clouds above the haze, that's really sad. Yeah. It is a thick layer of haze. Ah, but it's Asia. You know, what can you do? I really only take pictures these days while I'm traveling in case I see something cool. That way I can reference it for my DP art stuff. Oh, nice. Smart. It's kind of also sad. sad. Yeah. yeah, yeah. What are your What are your reflections on Toysotep? Nice place. It is a temple. It's very cool. It is pretty neat. It reminds me of the seaside temple in Busan. Oh, but not far more ornate sea. though, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. The art is it's pretty wild. Yeah. And everywhere. It's so cool. I love this one with the wood and gold yeah. rather than the painted wood. This building just over there with the columns. Every single inch of the column is covered in. Just covered in, yeah. It's so pretty. And then the drive up wasn't too bad, was it? It's pretty good. Yeah. Oh, I like the lanterns. It's cool. I was going to come and give you a kiss, but then I remembered no public displays Pick of affection. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Toby's talking about art project that he did recently where he had to sculpt his own hands. <laughs> so, funny. so I suddenly noticed a statue of a woman with one solitary piece of gold on it, which is quite interesting. I should tell you the values for women in Buddhism, maybe? Women in Thai Buddhism? So interesting. All the other statues are covered in gold, top to bottom. Right, one statue of a woman, one piece of gold. Oh, there is a waterfall. And some soy dogs. Hello, soy dogs. Oh, yes. 
The carvings are really beautiful. I think I a picture of that. Maybe. So people are now feeling comfortable to ring the bells. I personally will not. Because, again, I just don't know what's respectful and what's not. This is weird. This looks like that dude is, like, about to, like, wink at me. That's a really lifelike sculpture. We continue to remind ourselves that it's the high tourist season. It's literally the highest tourist season week. And so there's so many people everywhere. So here we are. This is the story of the temple. The auspicious elephant on whose back King Kuna came up to Toy Sutep. And there's more on the wall there, but I'm not going to read it. And it looks like the others have already gone down the stairs. There goes Mom. She's off to the races. Next stop, gift shop. Well, it's a market, but... Yeah, isn't it hilarious? Like, if you're gonna die, quick, take a left. And there's nobody in there. It's a ghost town. Which makes it even funnier. Alright. Off we go. I'm gonna be right. Mom. Yes, you shall. Awesome. I've done my thumb three times. We were just saying that it had to be built for tourism, right? Like, obviously for the glory of Buddha and Buddhism, but also a little bit for tourism in the same way. Like Notre Dame and those kind of places are super beautiful. Also make a little money on the side. So beautiful. And of course, as a country boy at heart, loving the forest. It smells so wonderful out here. It smells like a cool, damp forest. So we're now in the, just off the steps here, you get to this tourist area where it's all in the market. Like a tourist market and they have really beautiful stuff. Everything is super cool, but the tourist prices are through the roof. So just be aware. I mean, if you have a job, you're fine, but the prices are through the roof. Oh, look at these jade elephants. Those are so cool. I'm not sure those are real, though. They're real? I don't know. Doesn't, oh, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. It's something. Or maybe resin. That's resin. It's yeah, got bubbles in it. <laughs> anyway, it looks pretty. That's hilarious. Anyway. Oh, you got pretty umbrellas. These are cool. Oh, I'm loving this one. That's very pretty. And it's just aisles and aisles of the same thing. It's cool. So what we call... I'm supportive. My favorite part of the whole day is that we come to the back of the market where it's like where the brooms are and they put the garbage and poof. Here's our entryway. Dude just came up this bumpy old back road. Dumped us out here. A paw prince. That's from a puppy dog. And so here we go. This is where somebody's doing laundry. Maybe for whomever, I'm not sure. And then here we are, here's a couple of soy dogs just hanging out. That's funny that you looked, I was calling the doggy. That's fun. All right. There we go, it's funny, cop. Good to go. Yeah. Okay, cop. You can hop in. Especially the ones that are trying to sell you stuff. That's hilarious. But they are super, super uh, smiley. Yeah, it's fun. What do you guys think overall out of 10? Do you step? Easy 10. Yeah, it's fun. Yeah, yeah. yeah there's, yeah. No, there's nothing really wrong. Oh, yeah, easy 10. It's, it's, uh, it's a fun uh, actually, cultural experience. Here smell better than ones that we saw. Ones that we saw were super strong. They were very strong. They were very good. It's sweet here. It smells like this. This is one of those big spectacular world things. You have yeah, to you have to come and do it. Whether you're Buddhist or not, it's yeah. still spectacular. And the, like you were saying about the just art, art, art artistry, everything. it's so well made. Of. Yeah, It'll every inch is covered with yeah. carvings. We're yeah. We're doing a study in physics on our way down. Yes. Yes. <laughs> well, I think it is a standard transmission, so he might be able to put it in like a low gear and just wind on down the hill. We'll see. 
We'll see how we can smell the brake shoes on the, on the descent. <laughs> oh. Do you guys want me to ask him to stop for some sapato? That's the path he took us up just now. And here's the village, which is really built up over the years. It's got all the same kind of stuff the Night Bazaar has. So it's not, uh, it's nothing new, but it's it nice makes, that it's here. It makes me kind of happy to know that tourism is yeah. flourishing here. I totally agree. In Thailand, just because it's, it's a developing country. And so it's, it's just good for everyone. People have different views on tourism, but it's so good for the Thai people that yeah. it employs them and it full coverage, feeds them. And, and, mm. I just, Actually, no, and COVID didn't kill anything. <laughs> Yeah, so honestly, I yeah. wondered if some of these places would recover. Yeah. Like um, the beach towns, actually, they were it'd be a big yeah. dead for a year, year, year and a half. Oh, that's pretty as we leave. I think it's ten dollars a lot of pretty things. Or, yeah, definitely. If you're looking for world destinations to come to, definitely come to Chiang Mai. It's beautiful. Yeah. Obviously, we love it. Chiang Mai University, and we're heading back to the Night Bazaar. At first, I thought it was cicadas, and we were, I was like, "Wait, hey, is that a cicada?" It sounds like, like, like wheels, wheels on a shopping cart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it was the screechy wheels of a, of a vehicle. <laughs> like if you were to put a guy at Walmart pushing shopping carts all the way along. Lots of shopping yeah, carts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shopping carts, lots of shopping carts. Oh, oh, rock and lots of rockets. Lots of rockets. The weather in Africa is hot. Really? Uh, it's hot. Now, yeah, yeah. yeah. And we're back in town, going around the moat. That was a lovely quick trip to Doisy It was lovely. Yep, Lindsay just said it was a lovely quick trip to Doisy Temple. We, using Grab, which is an app, we booked a song tower to go all the way up. And then when we got there, he was like, I'll wait here for you for an extra 40 baht and take you back. We're like, perfect. And so it's just been super leisurely, the four of us and hanging out. Firstly, it's 1500 a person. Yeah. To do the same trip. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, it includes entrance fee. The entrance fee was 30 baht, which yeah. is less than a dollar. So we will have spent 720 baht total for the four of us. Instead of instead like, of uh, six thousand baht. That's so ten times the cost. Yeah. <laughs> wow. So we saved ninety percent. We saved ninety percent now. And now we're gonna go get more food. Yeah, we're on our way to Calera to get more food and more buns. And I wanna more fruit. I wanna go but banana shake. And more fruit. Seating. What's that? We can find seating. Well, one of us can just make that the mission. Everybody else can I just go get food. Oh, wait a second. It's just a motorcycle. Oh, yes. Or oh, maybe it's two cars. motorcycles getting a wardrobe. I love the sidecars here. They're so cool. They're so like cool. Indiana Jones. Yes. Except huge. Yes. Like you, you put a shop on it and then drive around. Oh, That's yes. a fruit guy. Yep. He's got a glass thing. He's a fruit we should, guy. We should down. Yeah. <laughs> We're just saying we haven't gotten enough fruit on this trip, so we need to make sure we buy a ton of fruit while we're in Koh Chang. I'm doing the same thing with France and France, where I want to say Koh Chang for the viewer, but it's really Koh Chang. Eh, we're not quite on the Night Bazaar Street yet. Check out that old car over there. That thing's awesome. Old car, old car, old car. And we are back at the Night Bazaar. But I will say this. I was just about to say, it doesn't feel that crowded tonight, but no, here we are. It's less crowded than last time. It's what? It feels less crowded than last time. It does feel less crowded, I agree. 
So we've ended up back at Galera. And everybody's getting food. I've grabbed us a table. And we're just gonna relax and enjoy our favorite part of Thailand, which is the food. I told the lady, oh, I'm not mad. She goes, where are you from? <laughs> I said, long story. Long story. We uh, got all our favorites. Mom got khao soy, right? Pad thai. Mom got pad thai. I got um, khao pad gai sapalot, which is pineapple fried rice. We got satay, but with like some kind of veggies and fruits. He got uh, oh, krapao, something, something, something. It's chicken with basil or pork with basil. Pork, some kind of meat, and to, uh, to begin, so Kalpakai, which is his favorite. He's been getting it everywhere. It's lovely. And gluite buns, we can't get enough of these. Oh, man. Mm -hmm. What do you got? We got the cantaloupe one. It's quite good. It's been looking for cantaloupe. It looks awesome. What a great color. I know, we got tengmo. Nice. Definitely one of the highlights for all of us is the fruit shakes. Whoa. The buns. Pretty fun. It looks weird. Yeah. It's such a cool color. It's pretty good. Yeah. It's cantaloupe. Yeah, it's just cantaloupe and a little bit of corn. With, uh, did you get it with sugar? Whatever the I think they add sugar to all of them. No, I have a slice of pizza. Please. Yeah. I can't remember if I said this the other night, but the pizza is so good here. Or, or should I say, the pizza is... <laughs> not access we don't have access in Tejan to good pizza and so we tried some here well, better than Tejan. because we thought it might be better than what we have access to and it is it's quite good it's a sweet sauce with a little bit of pep so we got a chocolate no banana so chocolate sweet and condensed milk roti it's mom got a sweet and condensed milk roti no banana right no, no, banana, no oh, chocolate. Yes, banana, no chocolate. And Isaac got... Oh. Chocolate, banana, sweet and condensed milk, roti. Here we go. What's that? I don't think I'm going to be able to finish this. It's too much or it's not good enough? Too much. Too much. Oh, that's okay. Don't worry about it. Great success. Right back now. Just going to relax. Isaac got a thing for ugly shirts, so he's here to get some ugly shirts. These are shiny ugly shirts, which is even better than ugly shirts. Back from a night of successful shopping. We got like three or four pair of earrings for mom. And we are heading to turn in for the night. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to check out our other videos on YouTube. We're off. We're gonna. Well, not now, because Toby just had to go get pants. I thought like, 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 no, like put pants on, actual pants. We, uh, you're not on film, just so you know. He broke his. <laughs> what? We were filming a video, and he he broke down laughing. It was like. Oh, we were wondering what you were laughing about. <laughs> I can see brown hairs on the bed. Brown hairs is the best. I think I like brown hairs more than I like Toby. <laughs> 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 I said, I said, I can see brown ears on the bed. And then I said, I think I like brown ears more than I like Toby. <laughs> okay, you are covered in these dots. Yeah, you, you look ridiculous. We you should take them off. Unless you're like looking for a leprosy kind of thing. Oh my gosh, taking a year and a half, Toby. Crying a lot.